This stupid project has haunted me for a week. After all of this, I simply want to burn Ossa to the ground. It is by far the worst country ever conceived. You are getting thrown into a war immediately because of an annoying bald man. You don't have manpower. You have a single factory and you are locked to three research slots for the entire game. I consider myself to be at least decent at this game. But after 10 hours, this was the extent of our expansion. Yes, after 10 whole hours. The most I could do is conquer Ethiopia. In this world conquest, I had to abuse every single thing I know about this game. Like how democratic factions work if the allies are at war and you're at war with another democratic faction. How to justification juggle, how factions behave in multi-wars, mill axis cheesing, baiting the AI into encirclements and even wiki to combat. And I will explain all of this when we get there. But until then, please enjoy this because I will have to go to therapy now. In case you have not know, you, you don't know about uh, Afar yet, we have one mill factory, two research slots, and we are gonna be locked to three research slots because we get one research slot over here. Oh, we get a second one, a loyal subject. We can't get that one. The good thing about not having an industry is all of this stuff is actually useless. Like we can research concentrated and construction, but we don't have factories. So the additional speed is not going to do anything for us. And apart from that, we have one field marshal, our beautiful irregular divisions. There's not much more to afar. I have already failed at tank only. Um, I'm sorry. And we don't have tanks. We don't know what a tank is. We are also gonna get three more of our units in Afar. For this event, we can wait another 10 days. It's not gonna make a huge difference, but we might as well wait until this event ticks out and then the game could end for us, but I'm not going to let the game end for us just yet. We are also going to strengthen the irregulars because we could get 10% more recruitable pop factor, but... <laughs> We have 9,000 total manpower. 10% is not gonna do anything for us. Ah, I forgot the MIOs. I forgot about the MIOs. We lost so much MIO experience. We do get a bunch of PP and stab over here, but I still think I'm gonna sift read a little. I mean, sift read. <laughs> we are gonna go concentrated. If there's one thing I learned, this is gonna take until 1970. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking wish! This was the first run and things were going incredibly swimmingly. We were holding without issue and then we got a nice little notification. That is perfect! Ethiopia is alive! Oh god, no, it's 23% well tension. I was about to say we can justify and get Ethiopia, but that's not gonna happen unless Ethiopia creates the African United Front. If they form their faction, then we should be able to justify on them without the allies guaranteeing them. All right, everybody, please go on this front. Oh God, yeah, we are losing. We are losing a couple of divisions here. It was easier if Ethiopia fell. I'm gonna say that much. God damn it. Turns out Osa is not that simple. Let's hope this is not my 13th reason. Okay, if you, thank you. I was about to say, please capitulate. Okay, we could actually just probably worth it to try and take this. With that, we can at least retreat. In this run, I also got mill access from Ethiopia so that our divisions can fall back and reorg in case Ethiopia prevails instead of just dying once they reach zero org. I did forget to cancel the mill access after they fell, which is why all of this land flipped to Ethiopia. And this also caused me to lose this run since I was fighting for land that gave us no manpower or industry. Why South Africa here? It looks like we don't actually need those two of our divisions, but I mean, um... There we go. <laughs> Gotta knock on wood. <gasps> we actually have a Sif factory. Two even. Let's fucking go, guys. And why do I like to suffer? I think you have to ask my parents. There we go, World War II has kicked off, which does mean Mussolini will probably send a couple of divisions down here just to get rid of us. Ah! Even worse than not getting land. It is French land next to me. Because of the state that the game was in, I decided we should try again. Because that would take until 2080, considering we have 2000 war score and zero manpower and we're not gonna get Ethiopia. And most importantly, there's French next to us. Perfect, my friend. This is the run, boys. Brilliant strategist without theater training. I guess John Iron heard me. Why is Ethiopia pushing? Brother, 
They're going for an encirclement. What's the lady? What are you doing? Why is Ethiopia doing good? Why are they winning? They shouldn't. What the? Afghanistan, Portugal, Czechoslovakia. What the fuck? Guys, I also exist, by the way. You can also send me volunteers. Ugh. I hope your Friday is going better than Orsa's Friday. On guard though, this is the run. Whoops. Don't want to make a field marshal front line, a general front line. Let's so get organizer, please. Just in case Ethiopia is gonna win, we're gonna get the mill axis again. It is a very simple and straightforward plan. No, we're not gonna play on non-historical. Other Hoi4 YouTubers have done this before. I can do it as well. I swear, guys, I'm good at this game. I can win stupid challenge. No, Mussolini, I swear. If you lose again. Oh, God, no. It just... God encircled! He can't! He's losing to the Ethiopian AI. I guess this one fucking tile kills the entire strategy of Mussolini. But that's fine. We can hold. I swear if you cancel that Melex is Selassie. I'm gonna train just one of those regulars. We have to shuffle train now. Otherwise, I don't think we can hold. Even that is a little bit risky. Okay, uh, is the training one in battle? Yeah, looks like it. Okay, let's get that one out. Okay, there we go. Finally. <sighs> Marks, please. Get some people in this house. The rest of this war is incredibly intense and similar to the Ethiopia war. We need to shuffle our divisions out that are lower Norg and hold out until we get a chance to strike. The only thing that makes this harder than Ethiopia is the fact that we are not allowed to make a single mistake while defending here. Does look like he's stopped. Would be nice to know where the airport is, if it's actually in Orsa. It is not. 200 war score for all of this. Oh, come on. What did that do to you? Yeah, Italy has airplanes now. And the great thing is, that's the airport that we built. Oh, I love building airports for my enemy. This was probably the single worst decision I could have done in this game. Joining the common turn and calling the Soviets and derailed this campaign completely and honestly made me question for the first time whether this is actually possible to save. I did get theater training in the hopes of building an entire military command filled with brilliant strategists, but all that happened was that I got inflexible once, <laughs> but don't worry, it'll get worse. Oh, come on, just one brilliant strategist, come on. I guess World War II is gonna be a bit strange. I'm gonna send an attaché to the uh, Soviets. That should give us a lot of army XP. Boys, wake up. I figure this time the lion of Africa is gonna wake up. And once they're here, yeah, there we go. We have the port. <laughs> it only took two hours. What in the world is going on in you? Yes! The axis is gonna be so weak. Okay, um, I didn't think this far. Guys, help. What do we do now? Also, the, where's... Do we not have a... Do we not have a capital supply hub? No, right. That is our capital hub. Ah, oh, it's the same thing that happened with Afghanistan. Our capital hub moved. Now that we have stabilized the front and we don't need to worry about Italy anymore, the second part of the awesome plan for world domination slides into motion. We will use the fact that Ethiopia created their own faction. The allies will not guarantee another faction so we can easily take Ethiopia. But also, if the allies are at war with someone and you are at war with another democratic faction, the allies will not guarantee those targets. This essentially means we can secure every single nation that would join the African Union. Also, let's not do Field Marshal Frontline. Gotta get the General XP. I mean, the Organizer XP. Germany usually does not capitulate the Soviets, but um, they just might in this game. Yeah, we have been blessed. We have been blessed by... I guess you... Yeah, okay. You can at least see him against the wall. It's 1941. Rome has just fallen. What in the fuck is happening here? No, the Dutch East Indies. Ah, oh, Stalin. Yeah, because the common turn was already at war with the Axis, the Dutch joined the common turn, which means we will also go to war with Japan as well. Ethiopia should not have an air force. Okay, zero airplanes, that is good to know, which means we're just gonna build some very crappy car. I don't want to build that cast. Oh, and please subscribe so I can pay for all of this crap. We are just gonna see what Ethiopia pack. Nothing. I'll take that. I want a little bit of grinding. All right. Let's see if we can get a little bit of useless land. 
Just have to hope we don't actually lose now. Like we don't get pushed out here. Okay. Supply kind of ass. That is actually dangerous. Yemen does have ships. Why does Yemen have ships? We can try and push into Aksum. That way we can attack from three tiles. That is this air zone though. Okay, they're transferring divisions in here. That's fine. They're just gonna get encircled. So let's try it again. Get the cast down here. Gonna keep one guy here. These guys can stay here. And perfect. Holy fuck, they are deep. Look at this. Uh, allies, please do something. Nice, we have the supply up here. Now we're just gonna link that one. Link that one up. They're still not cleaning up this pocket. It's not Stalingrad, it's Essen in this game. Oh, it's 1942, I have seven factories. When in Orsa, pin the Ethiopian. Nine factories? Guys. What now? Hey, I guess flame tanks are nice. Since right now, manpower is a struggle anyway. <laughs> Let's go! We get Sweden. Sweden should still be a major. Sweden, I swear. Don't you dare become a major. <laughs> I mean, I've already had Cuba become a major, so I can't trust in this, but if we would get Sweden, we would actually be a country. I'm tempted to just battle plan before Sweden gets any funny ideas. We don't have anyone in pinning position except for these guys. So a bit of a bummer, but we have to hope this works. We can get this one into pinning position soon. You also pin. Oi, don't you dare pin me. Nice. That should hold. Fall of Vladivostok. We have to become a major. Pronto. Oh my god, I love the AI. Uh, okay, you pin. You guys go to Gambela. Guys, please. That's 30 Germans. Just close it. No! Paradox is trolling. Hey, at least we can get the Ethiopian course now. That is big. Ah! What is this game? This is so ridiculous, man. It's just flip-flopping around. Look at the factory counts. 15 SIF factories. Please don't look at this, but we have to make do. <laughs> we have to actually build a submarine like this. Let's just... <laughs> they will not accept that we cancel this. That's fine. I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> Island is supporting through a land lease. Yeah, they are supporting through a land lease. I don't know what. Oh, come on. Yes. Yes. Allies, please. This is your time. It has to be. If the Soviets lose a single tile more, this is it for us. Now, admittedly, this did not matter since we are at war with the African Union, so Germany did not get to annex us, but... Oh, this is gonna be so disgusting. <laughs> Germany has 700 factories right now. We have 38. That's called Slovakia. I'm sorry, Orochi. Okay, we're gonna keep infantry equipment one simply because that one costs two steel. We just have to fight our battles where we can. Oh, I just need steel from someone. But they all require convoys. Nothing to build anymore. So I guess we're gonna build roads. Oh, actually nice. We get more rubber down here. It's just so nice how the allies just, they just chill in Brittany. They're not doing anything. Neither are the Germans doing anything. Brazil is in the East Indies. Everything is right in this world, especially Saudi Arabia. Brother, no! Churchill! We might just have to scurry back to Orsa and defend until the entire German manpower is drained. It's already 1937! So, there's this World War II game where you can play as any nation. And I thought it would be funny to play as Orsa and then my entire life just went downhill. Why didn't you just play Black Ice or Luxembourg like every other person? Yes, we are getting a navy, boys. Let's bump the convoy up again. <laughs> we just have one production line. There's a bunch of stuff here, but it doesn't fucking matter because we need steel. So we just have one line that's going. New Zealand has also fallen. <laughs> what is this game? If Orsa survived, this is all that would have happened. Japan would have dominated, the Soviets would have fallen, Germany would have Molotov ribbon dropped Poland over to the Russian Empire, Churchill would forget that Ireland existed. Why are you deorging so heavily? What was that? I guess we can attack in Germany. <laughs> Wasn't part of my agenda, but hey, uh, we might be able to take a little bit out. Now, if only I had motorized divisions here, or allied support what the fuck the one fucking tile that i'm pushing in right now we could push here but that's the only fucking air zone where the single plate is the allies are trolling me oh new south wales has also fallen yeah goodbye australia look how easy it is we just need a couple of airboats that is enough that is all I want for Christmas. Ah, German Panzer. Did I get war score? Oh, 
What was it? What score? Let's go. We have taken Berlin. This does say that British commandos stormed it, but we have taken Berlin. Don't you dare take credit. This is ridiculous. Germany has one division in those tiles surrounding Berlin. How are the allies losing to this? Okay. They are immediately de-orging. They're not getting raided. So those coastal forts? Are they so strong? Well, fuck. For now, we are not able to push Sweden due to the forts and we'll need to find another way in. This attack was so expensive. What the fuck is Truman doing? Legitimately, has he done anything? He's lost 8 million men. Where? How? Versus 2 million Germans. Okay, now it just depends on getting uh, naval superiority here. So, uh, Churchill, please be useful for once this game. Okay. We are landing in Wilhelmshaven. My lord, this is disgusting. Why did nobody get into this battle? And now we have to wait another 100... Why was there only one division in the battle? Ah. Bro, we have three research slots. That's one thing that's just messing me up. Like, it's almost 1950 and we have no check. Like, sure, artillery is done, infantry is done, engineering and construction is done. But, like, we don't have any navy tech. Air is still far behind. We don't have tanks. Have they actually landed in India? <laughs> How are the allies so fucking bad? Italy didn't even get Ethiopia in this game. Germany is out of manpower. Ireland has lost 560,000 men. How? Okay, I, I suppose at this point, all I'm gonna do is sit here for the next 40 years and then we can clean up. Because the Allies aren't gonna push into Germany. I can't push into Germany because I don't have manpower. I don't have divisions. Oh, just caught you watching. <laughs> I thought your dad was like, yo son, it's 2 a.m. Watch this Hoi 4 stream. I guess it's better he catches you watching a stream and not one of my videos. Because that would require a lot of explaining. Wait, that Germany cap? I think that, yep, yeah, okay. Germany's out. Just 42 million allies for 28 million axes. And it's all happened because Mussolini declared one Ossa. Excuse me? Churchill, what the fuck? What is wrong with you? We don't own... A port. We control a port. We can't get a navy. We can't take the navy. There was the one thing I wanted. And then it reached the 50s and all I've effectively done is conquer Ethiopia and turn Germany into an unstoppable powerhouse. You know, this reminds me of the time that I went grocery shopping and they didn't have any beans anymore. What does that have to do with anything? Oh, sorry, Vujo, I wasn't listening. That's not my name! I hope the allies let us to Churchill. I'm gonna kiss that bald head of yours. Paradox. I disagree on that. Sure. But hey, yeah, this, I mean, we got Somaliland, we got our claims, and technically Yemen. Ew, look at this. First things first, we definitely need to make the African Union as big as we can. The worst part is, if we want steel, we legitimately have to trade absolute donkey. I'm not kidding when I say that Osa is the most challenging thing I've done in this game so far. You have at max free research slots, you don't have any manpower, you don't have any industry, and you immediately go to war with Italy, which means you are locked out of the axis. And as you can see, we also don't have access to any of the resources, because for some reason, Africa does not have any, according to Paradox. Even with Sweden and Indonesia, this will be another 20 hours of grinding for me. There we go, they joined the African Union, which is perfect. With that, we have pretty much guaranteed the Indonesian manpower. I mean, we still have to somehow get over to Sweden, but we do have the Indonesian manpower and the resources. So the only thing that we need to purchase now is uh, factories, I guess. Ukraine should be simple. Yeah, they don't have a fleet, so I will just hope that uh, this actually works. Ah, oh, fuck, they, right. They still have the tripartite pact. Hang on, though. Hang on. I didn't see Hungary. Let's go, African Union, and <laughs> this is gonna be a three-day war. Then we're gonna justify on Hungary, just so we can get Italy. There we go, I'm just gonna order this. All right, guys, please, just walk. We are losing to five Ukrainian divisions. The Putin RP is continuing. Okay, <laughs> I guess nobody... Brother, what? Why did the UK get that? All right, let's hopefully take that airport. 
Oh fuck you! The AI is just gonna cheat the entire time here. Let's just snipe VPs. Hey, this is the most historically accurate Hoi 4 game I've ever played. Don't you dare say anything. I should have stayed in bed today. I should have stayed in bed. Bro, this is all flipping to the UK. This is so stupid. Just as a reminder, the UK is over here. Ukraine is here. The UK does not have claims over Ukraine. Neither are they in the war. Brother, this is your only question. Why is Ukraine independent? <laughs> I feel like there are more there are more important things to ask in this game. Uh, this is on historical, by the way. All right, the Kamel invasion of Ukraine in 1952. I sure hope you learned that in your history books. Ukraine had 40 factories. Where are they? I swear, I swear, if the UK gets this land. <laughs> Brother! This is so bullshit. In a way, I'm honestly, I don't even want to take Ukraine because Sweden is just gonna free them and I won't have a say in that. <laughs> this is so bullshit. <laughs> They're also going with me here. <laughs> Brother, the. <laughs> That's the only way I can win this game! By declaring on miners to get some factories, but... Oh. I'm just gonna leave Ukraine uh, on its own then. Stupid NATO. There we go, fuck you. I'm not gonna invade, but just for good measure. Mill access from... There we go. France. And then... I guess we can try and take Roma. Brother, you're democratic! You shouldn't join the co-prosperity sphere. Right, we have to supply here. Probably shouldn't auto just yet. I should just micro a little bit so we make sure. Beautiful. And you just draw another arrow down here. Fuck you, Ellie. Fuck you. <laughs> that was primal fear. All right, guys, I'm gonna be a good egg. There we go. Da oh, yes, that is fire. Now we can actually take all those Swedish divisions that have pissed me off in Ukraine. Brother, Sweden is going tank only. What the fuck? Oh, that's four Swedish tanks. Okay, this guy is gonna arrive in 14 hours. This guy is gonna arrive in 11 hours. That sounds like a small pinning maneuver is in order. Would you look at that? It worked. <laughs> No! Sweden is giving all that land to the Allies! I'm gonna burn Sweden to the ground one day. I actually wanted to learn Swedish, but the more I think about it, I think I'm gonna learn Danish instead. Hitman was a better game than Hearts of Iron anyway. That is also resources. Ooh, I actually have steel! I mean, we can't access it, but we technically have steel. The Dutch are alive. The Dutch are alive. That is actually big. Sweden is such a giant troll, man. Of course, it flips to the Italian Union. Guys, I think it is Großhirnzeit, as you say in Germany. I'm just gonna walk around. We don't have to deal with these submarines here. Another Swedish naval invasion. You know what? Let's just do no garrison in Italy, I guess. This game is just... It's just border gore. That is all this game is. Simple enough, this Dutch landing. Why does this flip to Germany? There's no reason for this to flip to Germany. They're not at war with the Dutch. They don't have a claim here. All right, for these, I'm just gonna keep this on area defense. In this entire campaign, this one single incident is probably the single most important thing that happened. As you can see, Sweden still wants to march into our newly acquired land through Germany, but our units are guarding the borders. And this will cost Sweden all of its manpower. Without this, this whole game would not have been possible. And I will have to abuse this for other locations as well. Yes, Sweden! This is my one piece. This is my victory. They just have to keep grinding. No, Sweden! No, you can't stop! You've only lost 300,000 men in this push. Just one more push. 99% of generals stop before they win big. I guess this is it, Mr. Frodo. An actual naval invasion of the mainland. Oh god, I did not think these guys would be that bad. This is not the game. Okay, there we go. No! Fuck you, Sweden! Stop it! Stop stealing my land! Okay, let's see. Do we have... Uh, we have Milexus, Turkey, France, UK, UK, Belarus, Poland, and then these guys can walk into Germany. <laughs> no shot! No shot! <laughs> is that... Oh, because of Georgia. <laughs> that would have been some autopathing. There we go. No! <laughs> no! We have to get out of here. 
<laughs> we have to get out of here. <laughs> right, my favorite son. Sadly, we cannot get the potassium. Holy shit, that's a lot of sweets. Do some last standing, please. Looks like we are holding. I don't know what awaits us in Norköping. Yeah, that's a lot of infantry. That's just every single tile is being guarded, but that's fine. Look at the size of this naval invasion. That should be repelled, though. Sadly, we still cannot take Sweden due to the overwhelming air and cast they have. So I had to go back to the drawing board. And fuck. We also completely ran out of convoys now. Resistance target is 94%. This is so stupid. Why would you even bother? Let's attack that Swedish division. Haha! -ha! And that Finnish division, which is gonna fight in Germany. I can't kill those, but I can deal damage. We are losing zero manpower and that's 400 every single day. Now... This is gonna take a while, but baby steps, I guess. Also, Sweden, please retake this. I cannot afford to hold this. I mean, there's no garrisons, but all of this is gonna get bombed. And at some point, the Dutch are gonna revolt. Okay, can we get a couple of uh, brilliant strategists for once? Brother, why are you all inflexible? Do some yoga, please. And Sweden is still attacking us. Very nice. Uh, there's no Swede here, but I guess we have to push the Shadow Swede. Holy shit. It doesn't really feel like they're pushing that much, but they are losing so much equipment in this. And manpower, wow. In order to grind Sweden down, I constantly swapped control of the Netherlands and Greece with the African Union. We probably capitulated both four times in this war, but this was the only good way to bait Swedish troops here and drain their manpower. Okay, because of... The Swedes moving around, this could be very ugly now. Like with all of the mill axes that they get, this could be very complicated. We're just fighting proxy wars, honestly. This is a Wiki 2 encirclement, but it might actually work. I don't know how the retreating will work with this, so... Yes! <laughs> nice! That actually works! Oh, this is fire! I get to play Wiki 2 in Hoi 4. This is amazing. Who needs front lines? You're just gonna move every single unit on your own. Since Sweden and I are only fighting inland via mill axis, I legitimately had to rethink how combat works in this campaign. Instead of drawing front lines and making encirclements the normal way, we had to surround units via mill axis and make sure that they couldn't just run away. God, I love Wiki 2 combat. <laughs> the fact that the A2C World Conquest series is just turning Hoi 4 into a different game. That's so insane. Insane. They're down to 30 divisions and a couple are here. Ah, there was a Swedish attack here again. I hope I can get an encirclement. Doesn't look great though. Yes, we got something. Caught one. This is the extent of the African Union. All the stars, Sweden, Finland, the Dutch, Indonesia, Ukraine, Hungary, Greece and Ethiopia. Exactly what you expect in the African Union. I'm, I'm getting a little bit sweaty. A little bit nostalgic even. This whole thing will be over. Fuck, Sweden has pumped out divisions. Okay, but this whole thing will be over in a minute. It has to be. It's gonna be 700 factories that we're gonna get. <laughs> we're gonna jump from 80 to 700. I mean, we're not gonna have 700, you know, we're gonna have like 500 because of puppets and all that. This is it. One more step and this will be the farthest we've gone from Ethiopia. Draw line. Draw. Why do you always all have red? There we go, you get green. For a bright and green future in Finland. Guys, just auto this. This should be fine. There's one Swedish division, two Swedish divisions, three Swedish divisions. The fighters are- Oh, fuck you, hungry! I was like, surely they're not gonna cheat again. Fuck this game, man. I know why it happens. The Hungarians set a an order to move here and then Sweden lost the land and then the move order is still here but it's still just bullshit cheating. All right, we can use this lake for an encirclement if we want to and I would like to use that. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Okay, for one, this feels fucking nice. I did not expect this to feel this great. And two, I did not expect Sweden to fall. I guess that's why it feels so good. Usually, you have to take every single Swedish tile. There's still so many VPs that I... <laughs> Look at the equipment. I'm gonna go suppress subjects. That's a couple of small nations that we have under our belt now. Indonesia has five million manpower. 
We can switch to infantry equipment free now. We should definitely have the resources for it. Honestly, the next couple of hours are some of the most tedious of the game. We have to drain the manpower of all of our puppets and slowly start to modernize our navy, air force and so on. All right, we have landed in India and as expected, there is not a single anyone here. So let's just draw front. There we go. Should get a little bit of war score. Not a ton, but a little bit at least. We could add some armor. Sure. Sure. Let's add one armor plate. I'm gonna be a little bit freaky today. The great Afarian medium tanks that you hopefully remember from World War II. There we go. That's fine. 76% reliability and okay stats all around. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Just... Just don't think of the allies. Don't think of the allies and then things are gonna be fine. The military industry of Afar is booming. Okay, 720 points. That is actually quite a bit. What the fuck am I gonna do with that now though? <laughs> yeah, I believe Japan will fall by next year. Yes, the allies didn't get India. So of course, India is also part of this peace deal. That's very nice. It's gonna cause them to waste a bunch of points on this. We could try and get the rubber here. We could try and get a bit more Chinese manpower. I don't think I want to bother with Japan. It's not worth the points. Italy could be fun. Oh, but, but we need oil from somewhere. Oh, <laughs> this is this is a pickle. What the fuck is that? Is that a convoy screening ship? Eight points? Three points? No shot. <laughs> I guess we could get China very easily now. I hope that Japan doesn't go to war with any of these. And they still have the Greater East Asian Prosperity Sphere. Oh brother, that could just save the entire game. I guess this game is gonna get a bit more interesting than I, than I wanted it to. I just wanted to have a chill battle against Japan and then setting up... <laughs> God, this is border goal. Setting up the Allied War, but... Uh, I guess we are immediately going in. We can 100% get Spain. If we justify in Morocco, then the allies will guarantee Morocco, but we can declare war on Spain for the Moroccan war goal. So at least that's another 200 factories. All right, truce should... There we go, truce has expired. No! Oh, fuck. Wait, why is Ireland... It's getting very late game. It is getting very late game. They might not call China into the... Am I high? Of course. The Republic of China is not part of the Chinese United Front. Wait a minute. I have the perfect idea. It is time to deploy the camels. What does Japan cost? Hang on. <laughs> you shouldn't be here. Why are all those democratic nations joining Japan? Okay, China joined now. Uh, in that case, uh, let us keep it simple. Camels, go in boys. Hunt them down. Ooh, that's a nice amount of points though. I see a very nice little target that I'm already very interested in. That is, of course, Cork. We could form North and South Vietnam. Don't think anybody has ever done that before. The spiritual state of Udmurt was. Brother, I have to take that. Hey, it's useless, but come on, that name. I honestly should take China instead of that, but I mean the name, come on. I have to, I have to really. I'm done. I'm fucking done. This is Picoy 4. <laughs> the longer I look at it, the worse it gets. This is gonna be a mess. <laughs> okay, I know where I'm gonna invest a little bit of industry in. Yes, I've been streaming for an hour. That is too much intention that I'm not giving you, I know. I know, Merlin. Oh fuck, you can't even see him. You still can't see him. There we go. Aha, you can see him, kind of. I kind of want to post this to Reddit and ask if anybody can guess what happened in this game. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those fucking borders. What the fuck? <laughs> we have to end this game. Like, I can't even make the argument that I'm causing this. That's just, that's just naturally happening from the AI. And I kind of wish we could get a couple of those allies out because even my PC is starting to slog a little bit. Curious. The Italian Union exists. I guess it's a good thing that I didn't puppet Italy. We can also get Italy for free because they will not guarantee a communist. Look at this, we have green here, we have green here, we have green, Ooh, we have everywhere green. I kind of don't want to bother with the justification juggling, but I, I I really want Portugal as well, man. Look at the dockyards. As always, Spain joins the Chinese United Front. No, Spain is actually being cringe. Whew, what the fuck? Why are they so trained? 
What have you done? You sunk one ship and you're a veteran. I guess we're talking about the Afar Navy here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my favorite part of the video where I can't use half of my puppets because the UK gets war goals on them and they keep them for the rest of the game. I did try to annex them quickly enough, but ultimately we just had to resort to sending 300 divisions into the Netherlands so that the AI has the dangerous borders modifier and doesn't declare war. China, it is time you make yourselves useful. With the Shu Tuan division, mainly because that one only requires guns, there's a very big chance that I'm just gonna waste the next 20 hours setting up the borders and the allies are gonna declare war on us anyway. One thing that's cool about the German marching songs is they're all just fucking horny. I guess the German ones are similar, but again, like most of them are just, oh, she's such a beautiful flower, or there's uh, like, uh, in einem Polen Städtchen, da lebt der einst ein Mädchen. About a Polish girl that's so beautiful and at some point she just ends up dead in a river. I think we did it. I think the troops in Afar ha saved it. 25,000 trucks for only 600 autonomy. All right, I guess you also get my convoys. Let's see if that's enough. Because now the UK sees, all right, we are at war with a major. Maybe now is a good time to declare war. No, submarines are attacking us. Where's my naval invasion support? There it is. Could have just been there the entire time though, if I'm being TBH. No, the UK tank division. There we go, force attack. 42, what the fuck am I using naval invasion support for? We might actually have to build some anti-tank against this. 80 armor. By George. What the fuck? The AI is making me put anti-tank in my divisions. Okay, they have 73 heart attack now. We pretty much doubled our heart attack. The anti-tank makes this so much easier. <laughs> All right, that's only 400 plane slots, but uh, we'll have to work with that. Uh, I don't want to give you infantry expert. No, why did you get infantry leader? You should become a panzer leader. I'm actually gonna switch him. I should have done it earlier, but I really want to keep that as a that's such a good tank general. Because there's no planes over here, I wouldn't mind pushing a little bit here. We'll see if we can actually do it. Well, there's probably not gonna be a lot of Spanish left. <laughs> I kind of wanted to push uh, just over here, but I guess we have to get Burgos first. We can see, maybe we can at least make a small encirclement on the British tank. Choo -choo. There we go. That is the first Spanish encirclement. Okay, there's another supply hub next to Valladolid. I guess Alviedo is also nice for the port. It's just a little bit of the lack of manpower on the front. Uh, it's gonna make some of these encirclements a little bit risky. I kind of thought the navy would hold, but I guess not. Please get in there, quick. All right, pin with these, pin with these, uh, pin with these, and finish these guys off. I'm gonna auto the north. It's gonna be a bit cringe to go for this encirclement, but I'm still gonna try. It's just like, there we go. We don't have any divisions here right now. The sky holds. There we go. Didn't even have to go to full speed for that. Join the common turn, the Republic of China. Brother! What the fuck? Every single one of you is just inflexible. Why? Lebanon and Luxembourg, the European Confederation, of course. Bro, <laughs> the history books for these children will be insane. Republic of China declared war on the Republic of China. Oh, uh, I don't think we have anyone in our faction apart from our puppets right now. Well, it's only, it's only be China, so I guess the allies get China. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We might be able to get Portugal now. China will probably fall before we get a chance or my game will crash. It actually did. I didn't. There's not even a, a crash report. I have never had that happen. Okay, I'm gonna declare war. <clears throat> they should join. Yes. Another one for the United Front. I can't actually uh, knock out Shibi now because this is all flipping to China instead of my China. I mean, we have... China here and China here. We also have China here. There's China and there's China and there's China. Since China is at war with China and China right now, but we are only at war with China, I decided to recall our troops that China and China beat our ally China and once they peace out, we can attack China again. Oh my god, made it out just in time. Republic of China took three states. Republic of China took five states. Republic of China was annexed. It does not get better. No! What the f- why does it, why did this flip to Shibi? Boys, go back into Shibi. Time to free your friends again. Okay, I'm gonna build the supply hub for the third time here. This time it's ours, so we're not gonna lose it. Right, uh, Portugal, Spain, 
We are gonna annex them. Let's start with the fun part of this playthrough then. Click this button so many times that my PC starts lagging. I guess it only happens in the thousands. All right, uh, that is Indonesia out. Then let's turn you into... Fuck, what's the flag of Ukraine? It's very simple. It's just a Soviet flag with full blue on the bottom. Should be this one. Uh, <laughs> I don't know who I just conscripted. I am so sorry, guys. Not to you, but like to uh, the poor men that I just conscripted. There we go. They are also out of manpower. Let's annex these. You are down to zero manpower already. I only deployed 700 divisions. That can't have been it. We are up to 12... 20 million manpower. I don't think we need 100 tank divisions. But also it would be... F I mean, we... <laughs> we used these for two days and our entire oil stockpile is gone. I'm just not gonna bother with the air war, I feel like. I feel like that's the only sensible thing to do. Oh fuck, I don't even have spotting cruisers. I mean, it should be fine. <laughs> with the amount of allied ships that we're gonna encounter, we don't really need a spotter. Let's see how this goes. Okay. These numbers are... Dropping quickly. I mean, we do have Orc. Okay, nice. We have made it. Now, this Italy should not have balance of power anymore. So there shouldn't be an Italian civil war. And I really hope there isn't because I don't want an Italian puppet right now. Like, I never want an Italian puppet. But right now, I actually don't want it. And I'm actually sweating a little bit because I'm... I'm microing quite hard here and I'm playing on four speed. That's not usual for me. You could say that's unusual for me. Ooh, actually, <laughs> if we just take, push into Bologna, that's also uh, Italy split up because of Turkey. We are 30,000 medium tanks in the deficit. I know why. There we go. You still have 2 million manpower and paradox. W w w we're German men. Why didn't they just, just do that at IRL? They've already lost 30 million and... They still have 500 divisions plus 2 million in stockpile while being on... What was it? Extensive? Yeah! While on extensive... How? You can't even make the argument that they have China or something. You know, they, they, they just have this. Now, Italy, we are just gonna annex. I'm gonna puppet them later. But for now, we are gonna... Of course, I can't take the Italian Navy. We don't have the oil for it anyway. And as always, this is the part of the video where I complain that I have to set up 300 new divisions and I spent the next three hours setting up every single border, but it's not ending there because I also have to defend against the UK and the UK gets a war goal against Sweden and Sweden is our puppet and there's no way you can defend Sweden, so Sweden will fall. And uh, because of that, we're first going to take out the UK and then focus on Africa and... Um, the rest we're gonna worry about when we get there because that's gonna take another 10 hours. Oh fuck, that was too quick. Okay, let's see. Can we take Gibraltar, please? Fuck! The 12 that are landing in Liverpool are being intercepted, but they should still be able to push through here. Yeah, there we go. Come on, stop getting intercepted. Just land in there, please. Nice. Gibraltar has been freed. Shit, man. Already 300,000 men. Denmark took out quite a few. Where's that rascal? Was that New King then? Because they haven't fought us yet. Oh, they all fled the UK. That is nice. What about our tanks? Um, no! <laughs> Don't go through the channel! Even for the AI, that is stupid. Bro, I love Marines though. They are just so strong. The Allies lose the UK, we lose Sweden. Uh, honestly, I think that hurts us more than it does the Allies. Simply because of all the resources. That's a lot of guns that are just gonna get tossed away because we are on cap. But that's fine. The Allies are not actually... They're not actually doing anything with their bombers. They're just harassing. Ooh, and North Africa is also just one. There we go. We can definitely auto both of these. <laughs> That's a lot of poles. I think I pissed someone off. None of these provinces are very nice to push from. I don't think we can push from here either. Okay, never mind. <laughs> That was quick. It's probably just nobody reinforced here. That's why we won. Nice with that. They have nowhere to go. The one thing is, because we don't have any fuel anymore, they can nuke us at any point now. So this town here is going to be a bit dangerous. Look at it go. Yes, yes, you are here to encircle us, but I don't care. I'm just going to pin. There we go. The allies are being cringe again. Four million allies. It's just, where the fuck do I go now? We have Ireland, we have the UK. Uh, we can get Iceland. I'm just gonna do this for a second. The allies should start raiding here intensely. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Okay, I mean, it's good to know that we can at least get fuel. The allies are not going that hard. Guys, please don't fall. 
Oh, we can hold. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll hold. Although we have been pushed out of one tile already. And with the lack of supply, that's not gonna... We're not gonna get that one back. Why did everyone leave this one? Actually, did they get encircled? I think those guys got encircled. The 20 million Chinese might not have been enough. Okay, that's a naval invasion on Ireland. I'm fine with that. Every front is collapsing. Honestly, I'm just gonna leave North Africa. It's not worth it. Just naval invasion after naval invasion. And they left. This is why you do not use area defense. Because they just left Dublin. Oh, actually, that was worth it. A bunch of Norwegians and Americans came in. This is why you use area defense. Okay, that's fine. I'm just slowly getting pushed back. But here's a river line. We can hold that river line. Then everything will be fine. 100 division in this tile. Because of Orsa. Oh, okay. That was a big breakthrough. I think I am just gonna dismiss all of these now. It sucks. It sucks so bad. But I am just gonna abandon Iberia here. Should also just be able to break through here. Yo, what the fuck? 1000 attack. That's just raw strength. Four days. Six days. One day, two hours. Okay, we have to pin for a day then. It is gonna be worth it if we can... There we go, nice. I'll just make sure that we close up this pocket. And then we're gonna have to make pushes like that for the next 30 million allied divisions. We can potentially push here and then go for an encirclement like this. Taking Nyanza would be nice because then they have to go all across uh, Victoria. I know geography. Um, I'm not opening Google Maps right now. I believe it was that one though. Yes! And we are officially out of convoys. If you are worried or if you are not worried, now is the time to get start getting worried. I think they're also trying to send supply over convoys here. Let's just disable that. They suddenly have supply again. Morons. It's also nice that they're still grinding us here. So for the first time, oh god. I spoke too soon. <laughs> I was about to say, for, for the first time this feels winnable, but um, looking at this, we are on a timer. I dare say we can push up here. Up here will be very nice because then we can, again, we can just get the encirclement. Okay, let's see, maybe we can do this. It is a bit risky. I don't know why, but the AI completely ignored the UK and just kept throwing hundreds, if not thousands of divisions at Ireland throughout this war. This is just free manpower, honestly. We could just chill here. We don't even have to push in afar. We are linking up with Mozambique. <laughs> we keep one guy in the back. The rest goes in the pinky. Oh, I just collapse here. Very, very nice. And actually, since all of this is also a river, if we push into Burundi, and then these just have to push one single tile. Like, th this is also something I really like about those challenges. Usually, you would not give a fuck about Africa, but because we have to squeeze out every single point to actually win here, and, I mean, we are also playing also, so we have to play here anyway. You do so many things that you wouldn't do in a normal Hearts of Iron campaign. Strat Bomber in position. Let's nuke once, let's nuke twice, and with that, we should be able to march right in. It's 70 allied divisions. Ooh, look at this small pocket down here. And that's also the good thing. Like we just nuked 1.5 million away and that nuke also enabled us to take another 4 million just because we could finish the encirclement here. I don't really want to push out of Africa now because in Europe, they are actually going to contest us. Oh, let's go. Another 50 divisions encircled. One by one they fall, although they are just deploying more and more divisions. Oh, I really want to do a stupid Vidro encirclement again. I mean, look at this. If we pu push over here and then we push down here, all of these. Now let them land, you fox. You have lost your privilege of moving troops around. These guys are going over here. Okay, <laughs> you're all getting nuked. We're probably gonna attrition quite a bit now. All right, I'm just gonna nuke a second time because that light tank dodged a nuke and then we can potentially break through here. Now, <laughs> immediately getting pushed out again. Uh, it's just a cycle of life. That is a nice little allied encirclement. Who's left to cap? I guess depending on your uh, definition, it's just Orsa that's left to cap, yeah. <laughs> Just getting this encirclement has already cost us, has already cost the allies 4 million men. That encirclement was about 3 million men. Nice. That's the seventh Syrian civil war. What in the world? What the fuck? <laughs> it just doesn't end. They get annexed and immediately start another one. I guess one thing is historical in this game at least. 30 million allies and they still want more. 
They just can't get enough of Ireland. For a lot of stupid stuff, I just have too much content brain, you know. I will legitimately do things that are stupid, because I feel like it would make for good content. Or for good experiences at the very least, you know. Stuff where I can be like, ha 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 ha. <laughs> I hate my brain. I hate this... I nuked my own airport again. We had air superiority the entire time and suddenly I don't have any airbase here anymore. 35 million allied divisions, units, men, soldiers, husbands, sons, and it will be even more. Pushing is so simple in this game. You just need air superiority and cares and nukes and good divisions and the enemy to be out of supply. Boys, it is time we control the Suez. Oh god, no! All of the Italian divisions are not streaming in. They're gonna take my supply. Before we push too far, we have to actually secure this stuff a little bit. We can also take out Lebanon. Yes! And Syria! We will be connected to our oil supply. I mean, it doesn't matter because I don't have anything to use with my oil, but hey. That was the second time the game crashed without any dialogue. Wait, have I been streaming for five hours? That can't be right. If we're lucky, they are not gonna join the allies. They should join the allies, but Rwanda didn't join, so we'll see. Some of them have strength again. Yeah, let's just nuke again. Should be another one million. Yep, there we go. It's just very easy damage that we're just dealing here. You know what, let's just encircle these because Libya only has these five divisions. It looks like. Yeah. <laughs> and then you can auto the rest. Disgusting. Come on. Okay. You don't have to nuke five times. Six times? They really don't take, uh, like us taking Libya. I'm gonna use my immobile aircraft carrier here. Seriously, like, they are just... They are so bloodthirsty. Ah! Okay, that's not Cyprus. It's not Crete. Oh, Tunisia has a bunch of airplanes as well. Dealt with those. The big issue will just be like winning this fairly. It's not gonna work. <laughs> America's one million men in their airplane business. There's not really anything here from the allies. So I am tempted to also just push here. Just clean up a pocket before they're getting freed. Bro, what am I gonna do with my life once I'm done with this game? I just realized at some point this will end. Let's enjoy it while it's here, eh? Down here, we could actually push over here. Like, there's nothing here, and I believe that... Okay, the supply is here. Might as well push over the river. Let's just cycle two in here as defense. They are gonna shuffle a couple of divisions over here. We do not have 75%, but I'm just gonna pin with these. We might actually be able to push out. We are gonna push out, yeah. We just have way too much stats. Oh, wait a minute. I have an idea. <laughs> I have a great idea. There we go. We have air superiority here. And now we can just nuke this airport and this. Air 4,000 airplanes. All right, don't mind if I do. 5,000 enemy airplanes taken out, which will also give us air superiority over here. This is honestly the worst part about playing in Africa. You just nuke your own airports every single time. Don't tell me that one guy can repel those. Okay, I was about to say, that would have been pathetic, but that is a very big naval invasion, especially for the UK. Still have 80 divisions. I guess it doesn't really matter how we move here. So let's, come on, there we go. I guess I have to click every single tile. Let me shuffle around a little bit. Keep one division here, keep one division here. All right, uh, and we can just clean up the encirclement here. We can just take this supply up. This might make the allies a little bit weaker here. But I mean, they still have the supply from this port here, so it shouldn't matter too much. Just gonna ram in there until this tank gives up. Or I suppose we can also push up here. That's just a light tank division. Although, <laughs> I mean, we are almost here and there's a supply hub. So we might as well do this. If I disable these two tiles, are they gonna go for Sumatra? Ooh, nice. It's one less zone we have to worry about. The AI should start freaking out now a lot though, because that is a lot of divisions that are encircled. Playthrough must be really enjoyable. Uh. Sure, let's call it enjoyable. You could also call it stubborn. That should at least be this pocket. And then we can also clean up this pocket. That railroad should mess them up so much. Or even that one. Hang on. I mean, I know it's getting very late, but why did the Confederacy... Wait, no! <laughs> 
I guess the Confederates and the United States fight on the same side. This game needs to end. It needs to end. I'm not sure you can call Hearts of Iron a historical simulator at this point anymore. I know we talked about this, but I don't think the UN allows this as a, as a torture method. Like, you can do it willingly, but being forced to do this is probably on a whole nother level. No, the CIA would never. They're the good guys. They're part of America. Please don't torture me again. The workers prevail in the second American Civil War. Not only the workers have prevailed. In the meantime, we reach Morocco for the third time, I guess. This number is getting lower. They used to be at three, 30 million. Because there's just nothing here, I am just going to do a bit of a force push everywhere. It's just three more ports that we need to take. And here I'm just going to do a two lane push here. Oh, let's, let's go for tri-lanes. The war support is actually the one thing that surprised me the most in this game. Because with any other nation, we had 0% war support and the allies just aren't nuking us that much. We take North Africa and then we get pushed out again. Come on, brother. I just deployed more fighters and we have less air superiority. I guess I'm actually gonna leave again. Because this fight is not worth it. Ah, <sighs> goodbye again. What dastardly thing can we do? Looking at the supply a little bit here, not that much. I mean, I guess we can just try and push through here. But yeah, without any air, it's not gonna happen. Oh no! The British are guaranteeing Cote d'Ivoire! I guess I won't declare war on them now. Lake Victoria offensive. A little bit misplaced. <laughs> but sure, I don't really know what Africa is as also. One thing I wouldn't mind doing is drawing a f uh, fallback line and then just using a couple of divisions to push here to just continually do some encirclements. I'm actually gonna try this and then let's get those mountaineers unassigned, those mountaineers unassigned, those mountaineers unassigned and those mountaineers unassigned. Tiny little devious lick. Gotta do that about 600 more times and then they shouldn't have any manpower anymore or any divisions anymore. Casualties are just a measly 3.7 million from us on 62 million allies and they still have 32 million manpower fielded. Okay, uh, let's go for another one of those funky little ones for those devious little encirclements. All of these will also be encircled. Realistically, that's like, what, 120 divisions or something? <sighs> It's not gonna be a huge difference in the grand scheme, but hey, if we want to go out, we have to go out at some point. Okay, I knew it. <laughs> I knew you would immediately remove the front line again. Ooh, the allies are attritioning a lot and honestly, I thought about getting an encirclement, but looking at how much is stacked here... <laughs> okay, let's see. 1.5 million just casually taken out. Uh, at some point, this number has to go low. Has has to stop growing. Though I suppose I can also say the same of the American naval invasions. We don't even have to do any complicated encirclements here. We just, there we go, keep these guys here. We unassign these, we unassign these, we nuke, we nuke, we tell just those three or four mountaineers to walk in there and then this is gonna be an encirclement. 65. It's another 500,000 men. And we scurry back to Beirut. There's still 4.3 thousand allied airplanes. I meant to say zero. Oh, they immediately sent 3,000 new planes in here. All right. I can play this game all day. Or technically all night, I guess. I guess 1,000 airplanes is still worth it to nuke. Okay, 800. 800 is a lot. I mean, we still have 70 nukes. We might as well use them. Ooh. The allies have not learned. Right, let's just do the same trick again. Every single one of those encirclements is 500,000 men. Plus the nukes is probably also 2 million. Like uh, together it's probably 2 million. I don't think you've ever seen that one before. I don't even want to know how many bodies are piled up here. It's gotta be at least 30 million of those of the allied losses. Even as a commanding officer, I don't know how many nukes we dropped on Syria and how often our men marched into the fallout. I'm not super happy with ending this encirclement because it's just, like it's just super chill this encirclement is just a guarantee that we're gonna win because we're not taking any damage we are just killing the allies by the millions but also it is not really that enjoyable to watch or uh I mean, not after a while at least. I'm gonna go for, uh, let's go for a two-pronged attack again. I assume we can just auto the, the downstairs one. This is going easier than expected. Actually making an encirclement here. Okay, we have a bunch of oil ourselves now, so I'm just gonna see, does that work out? Nice, this does work out. Next best thing is resources that we need to secure. Brother, can you just stop? 
please learn at some point. I mean, I'm fine. There we go. Let's just leave. Let them land. Never mind. Let's not let them land. <laughs> That's a lot of Norwegians. They are getting very low on manpower now. It's only a matter of time at this point. It will all soon fall. Yeah, there we go. All of the allied planes have arrived. In that case, I'm gonna go for a smaller one here. Just so we get all of these guys encircled. Because defending this is not gonna happen. Oh, they actually did take us here. But I am prepared. You fell right into my trap, you fool. We can get a very nice pocket here with Turkey. And then I could also call an Iraq. Or I just call an Iraq now and then we just yoink over there. Eh, let's do it the old fashioned way. I'm just gonna quickly try and link up here. The fight no for North Africa is so miserable. How? How does the UK still have divisions? What in the fuck? Also, they're fascist now. Gibraltar is, should be contested. So, yeah, navies cannot pass. I guess we are gonna bring out 1,000 naval bombers, but they're not gonna last long. <laughs> Immediately just nuking out submarines and everything. Come on, the mountaineers can do this. I believe. Yes, they made it. Now they just have to hold. But for now, we can just push into... Uh, Afghanistan. Auto should work here fine. 81 million allies. Very nice. We freed Iraq and Iran. We can now technically push into India, take out China. We can now push into Kazakhstan, get all of Russia. Oh, we have options, options now. Turkey, what am I gonna do with this? How am I gonna cook you? So let's, yeah, let's just try this. Do something like this. This is gonna be a relatively big encirclement. There we go. Look at it. Is it crazy that I, that I see all of this and I'm like, okay, that's actually not that many divisions. I shouldn't get desensitized to this. I've learned from my mistakes. So, although we can also just quickly finish these encirclements and then I can leave. Actually, I don't even have to take the islands, right? I have Greece. Since we don't even have those, I have to worry about those islands. I don't even have to retreat from Turkey. That's so nice. I guess the Greeks are good for one thing. Yo, the bombing that's going on here. What the fuck? They're just throwing magma. Bro, stop it. No means no. Okay, are these guys finally all here? Let's just make sure. There we go. Iran does not have any other borders. We are gonna call to arms Iran. And you just move. Bro, am I high? Why is Liechtenstein here? It's gotta be one of those 50 different nations that popped out of Russia. Haiti. Okay, never mind. It's almost Russia. Oh my god, three Sith factories. We don't have to repair anything right now. Huh. I don't know what I'm supposed to build now. Oh, with that, North Africa has been secured again. Just gonna nuke Syria as well. It's just the US that's constantly invading here. Because if it was France, I would do something about it. But it's just the US. Okay, pushing in Europe has slowed down a little bit. Okay, but there's also 18 divisions here that could just be on the front. And we can also use Hungary for a nice encirclement here. Although I don't really care anymore. I just want this game to end. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> we have the communists and the confederacy and the unaligned states and we have the democratic states. So we have every single America in this game. It's starting. The allies. That's why I didn't want to push into Europe. They're just gonna keep nuking us. <laughs> what the fuck? What has Morava done to you? This is so fucking ridiculous. I am tempted to pull out of Europe right now because <laughs> this is just a, such a mess. Wait. Why is Ukraine here? They shouldn't be in the war. Ah, shit. I guess the allied divisions are starting to just get all of the upgrades because they are getting a little bit bricky. Okay, 105 million allies, but they are down. Like they have about 1.5 thousand divisions left instead of 3,000. It's only a matter of time. Ah, I don't even have the energy to be upset anymore. What the fuck is this bullshit? And of course we lose all of our front lines now. This is so crap. It is time we open up the French front, or the Iberian front, I suppose. And before this becomes a problem again, just give me North Borneo, please. All right, keep it then. Keep your rubber. The worst part about pushing into Russia like this is just that it doesn't matter. Like we're gonna take out some miners here, but realistically, <laughs> there's no point to pushing through all of this. And honestly, I'm just gonna auto this. With that, we're finally getting Spain back after 30 years. 
Bro, we are they're freeing Al Bulgaria again. I hate those Greek islands, seriously. Oh god, they actually are lacking a lot of experience now. But I mean, I'm also just completely autoing this entire front, so it is about expected. Now, we are completely unprotected. A single naval invasion can just screw me over completely here. If, if we are slowly, we are we are winning. I mean, we took out France. We are we should be able to take out Germany relatively easy now, bro. Can you get over there, please? It was quicker to prepare the naval division for these guys to move over here. What the fuck? And Italy, it is time for you to join the British Somali Peninsulan War. And Mr. Eggman, you shall also also join. <laughs> Fuck's sake! It's not part of the edit, but this is the seventh time that Syria and Lebanon have capitulated thus far. And it's not gonna be the last time. Oh, late game Hearts of Iron, look at this. This is so fun. It's a lot of red arrows, but I don't care anymore. The allies are down to 12 million men. Sure. Actually, there's a lot of fighting going on in Finland, so... <laughs> I'm not gonna call Finland in. What the fuck is this battle royale? Fighting in Russia without having Russia? It's just such a stupid idea. We're just gonna push and it's never gonna end. Those French tiles, I cannot get them. They are in the Sahara. It even says, troops may not enter. <laughs> troops may not enter, only French. Meow, look at the divisions move. Slow beam. Okay, I'm gonna brush my teeth quickly. Well, this autos and then I guess we can do the US afterwards. <laughs> I come back and Lebanon has capitulated again. Everything is right in the world. The tone of the Unaligned States of America Congress. Are you really unaligned if you're in a faction? Seems contradictory. F six months to repair this shit. Just sink it, honestly. You're not even Mussolini, but you're still doing the same fucking thing. Uh, let's finish this once and for all. Just a final one for the road. This one was for the fans. Okay, that was quicker than I expect. What the fuck? That actually is super bad. <laughs> we have to deal with Canada now. We have to make this border proper. Honestly, I'm gonna let the AI conquer all of this, I guess. Just so we focus on these two. That was bound to happen that Brazil becomes a major as well. Come on, guys, just move, please. <laughs> I want to go to bed. The realm of the god of light. Yo. I have a couple of Mexicans are defending the Confederates. <laughs> it's not something you see every day. The swarm is coming. Uh, no. Guys, at least split up a little bit. They would have just let themselves be encircled by this one division. And Australia is also major. Bro, even deploying planes just takes ages now. If we could just piece out half of these nations, this would speed the game up so much. But no, they gotta fight until the bitter end. That's what they're gonna write in the history books. This is the Polish Dutch War. I guess this is what the game must feel like for you guys. Because it's just going by at a snail's pace. <laughs> He's never gonna reach the truth. Finally, it only took them 10 minutes. Almost deleted those. That would have cancelled the entire invasion of Brazil. Thank you. Oh, finally, it's Brazil out. The cool thing about Australia is it does not matter. There's no VPs here. So conquering is just as regardless. Guys, come on. Do I have to micro everything here? It's fucking 1980. It's 3 a.m. I just want this game to end. Once we have that port, I mean... <laughs> There's not even an Australian defense. They should capitulate. The allies should just give up. 140 million. You guys are now camels. Let's go. Fine. We're gonna take out Australia. It's Japan then. Why the fuck does Japan... Whatever. It's fine. It's just another 20 minutes. Because Japan does have 400 divisions, we actually have to use an entire stack here. No, it was just a British. It was not an Austrian painter. It was just a British who were like, hoo hoo. Actually, if it was the British, then the borders would look like this. Oh, cool. My alarm goes off in five hours. Never mind. There's just one division here. Japan, I fucking hate you. I despise you. I'm sorry. This is not personal. This is also not some historical joke. I legitimately just have to nuke Japan. There we go. Goodbye, Japanese war support. Bro, these guys are still not here. They were here. 140 million allies. And for what? To take out 11 million Orsons. I think I have a chubby. Just give me five minutes to click. Yo, yeah, that's actual bullshit. <laughs> because France promised independence. Syria will forever revolt. Just like that. 31 hours. 1994. 60 years spent in this 
fucking game. The largest battle was one million men. Now that you've seen me suffer as also, why don't you watch this video where I conquer the world as the Argentinian Pope?